The beautiful thing about fear is, when you run to it, it runs away. Fear is nothing more than an obstacle that stands in the way of progress. In overcoming our fears, we can move forward, stronger and wiser within ourselves. Yes, y'all, it is Halo's Kitchen, the best kitchen out there. Chef A here, and I am back with the dessert videos where I also talk about an out the comfort zone topic. And as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about fear. And just the disclaimer, this recipe is not mine at all. You know, I am not really a sweets type of person, but I do like to challenge myself, you know, here and there. And, you know, all the instructions, all the ingredients will be linked below on the lady's website. It's by The Banana Diaries, I believe that's her name. But if not, I'll just make sure, you know, to link her stuff down below because this ain't my recipe. But yeah, y'all, this was definitely delicious. I definitely recommend that y'all try it. It's also gluten free. But yes, let's get into the topic of fear because I've been facing a lot of fears personally myself. Like I literally just jumped out of freaking airplane <laughs> um this past weekend you know that was an experience for sure didn't think i would be facing it this soon i didn't think i would be facing a lot of my fears this soon if i'm being completely honest i didn't think that i would be to this point to where i'm even making videos like this doing voiceovers even you know giving people any type of insight advice sharing any of my story but here i am today <laughs> life just be life in so yeah you know and I, I started off the video with that you know that little quote or whatever not a little quote that's a big quote because it holds a lot of weight it's very much you know truth within it and you know at some point you have to stop allowing your fear of what could happen make nothing happen I want you to like listen to that again at some point you have to stop allowing your fear of what could happen make nothing happen and you know I don't know how long any of you guys have been watching my content but I was not long ago in a period of my life where fear was the leader. Fear was at the forefront of almost every choice I made. You know, how I navigated through situations, how I communicated with other people, with the calling I have over my life and my understanding of what I'm intended to imprint and accomplish in this lifetime. I no longer could hold on to the fears of what could happen, you know, once I put myself out there. And, you know, being on social media was so far out of where I wanted to place myself. And I'll be a little bit transparent and share that I've experienced, you know, cyberbullying, harassment, threats, and attacks that completely scared me away from putting an ounce of myself out there. It scared me from reaching my fullest potential. It scared me from creating and being the woman God called me to be. I thought that the less I'm being seen, that, you know, the less likely it is for my image to be completely destroyed, for my name to be tarnished. I put the power of my life, you know, my destiny in the hands of those that could see nothing but my flaws or the made up version of me that they had in their own mind. And I even allowed it at some point to shift and control my perception of myself, knowing that deep down that was not who I was, you know. And, you know, it was kind of a situation where like, dang, you know, people outside of me that aren't within me that don't fully see me for who I truly am, the, the pureness that I hold and, you know, the good heart that I have, you know, they believe like so negatively against that and have this all other perception like so hard to their core that I started to believe it as well, if that makes any sense. I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that, but that definitely has happened to me to where I feel like maybe I maybe I don't know myself and I know there are situations where you know other people come in and they are meant to reveal parts of yourselves that you may be you know unconscious about and you know I'm not I'm not speaking on that different things different mistakes I may have made or parts of my character that were you know toxic and whatnot and that needed to be changed but just I'm saying like my, who I completely was my whole image and identity I put it in the hands of other people and like I said, it just wasn't who I was deep down inside. Um, and, you know, I was so afraid to shine out of fear of judgment as well. I thought 
you know the thought of others that I once went to school with or just people I once knew in life seeing me pop up on their social media or wherever else my brand is expanding it gave me the feeling of embarrassment I knew that my life wasn't meant to be lived traditionally not the traditional nine to five working almost every day of the week you know towards something I barely care about I knew that deep down I had so much to unlock and tap into with my many different talents and I knew that one day I'd have to let my light shine. You know, that's that's just very true. Like <laughs> me, I have to be a person that's like leading with intention. I, I, I'm pretty sure I've like said that in one of my videos before and I just have to have purpose behind whatever it is that I'm giving my energy and that I'm putting my energy into. Like even when it comes to like connections in my life, you know feeling like you know they have purpose to them as well and not just there just because if you know they're not necessarily adding anything to my life and it doesn't have to be anything where it's you know anything shallow as far as adding anything like oh if you're not helping me to succeed and you're not you know a step as far as me elevating in business and whatnot like it doesn't have to be just about that but I feel like having friends or people around that you know give you that love and you know just things like that i don't know if y'all really understand what i'm saying but <laughs> but yeah um let me just continue and to be 100 percent honest the only way that i was able to stop working against progressing towards what i was meant for was through experiencing jobs that didn't value what i had to bring or simply couldn't recognize it they couldn't recognize you know yeah like <laughs> my value and the potential that I held and I experienced one job that deprived me of proper sleep and rest working late late nights you know it deprived me of balance and happiness I experienced my first heartbreak being so head over heels for someone that was not willing to give me what I did in return so I poured into myself instead and I had to experience the misery of what life was being outside of correct alignment towards what I really wanted instead. I experienced my first period of isolation away from everyone. I was hidden in a way and I began to finally share myself and what I created to social media being seen for more than just my looks because that's all I really used to be on social media for just to post some cute pictures. I pretty much wanted to get into the Instagram modeling and stuff like that. I was all on Snapchat and that's all that I really you know did for real and I'm like well I don't really know what else I'm truly interested in like you know as far as after high school deciding what career you're gonna go into so I thought I was gonna be doing some modeling or something but nah God said I got other plans for you I got something I don't necessarily want to say bigger for you but just something that's more so aligned with who you're called to be because no career path is bigger than someone else's if that makes sense and um where was I at? <laughs> I began to finally share myself and what I created to social media, you know, being seen for more than just my looks. But my exposure, it was always slow and steady. I never received an overnight type of viral exposure. You know, I remained heavy in my prayer life during isolation and always asked for divine preparation and timing. And, and like, even still to this day, my progression, even though it's like, you know, finally starting to pick up, because I recall like, my instagram account my my cooking instagram to be specific i was stuck at like 183 between 183 185 and 187 those three numbers i was stuck at that many followers for so long barely getting 100 views like five to ten likes on my posts and just constantly getting discouraged but i didn't realize that that was also meant to help me with my discipline as well just to keep going strengthening my faith and you know my faith was tested i first thought that I was supposed to receive and reach the lifestyle and results that I wanted just after, you know, first starting. I thought, okay, I'm finally not going against, you know, what I was called to do. I'm, I'm living and leading with more purpose and intention. I'm, I'm finally doing it, you know, so why why shouldn't things be going a certain way? Why, why shouldn't I, you know, finally have this lifestyle that, I, you know, I had this vision for, you know? that God has shown me like where is it at like since I'm finally starting to take those steps not understanding that things take time to build you know things don't come overnight you have different lessons to learn you have other people to meet you have different people to meet before you can just jump straight there and 
you know, I focus so much on the end result that I completely missed out on the best part, the moments that I'm going to remember most, you know, the journey, the struggle, turning, you know, nothing into something, not completely nothing because, you know, I'm still, obviously I'm still fortunate enough to even be able to do things like this, be able to make content, to have a camera, to have a laptop, to edit, to have everything that I do that has helped me along this way. And, you know, just working with what I got, I definitely had to learn that as well instead of focusing on, man, I don't have this, I don't have that, you know, so I'm going to just hold myself back. Like, no, mm -mm. <laughs> once to once I faced the fear, I had to realize, okay, now we have to work with what we, what we got. I know you want things to be this certain way, but, you know, one day we'll get there, just not now. You know, the answers to our prayers, it's not, you know, always a no. Sometimes it's just a not right now. And just because you begin to make choices that align with your highest self doesn't mean you'll be your highest self overnight in the physical realm, at least. You know, there's this quote by Bob Proctor, faith and fear both demand you believe in something you cannot see, you choose. And I just, I truly do hope that whoever it is that's watching that, you know, I pray to God that God leads you to no longer allow fear to take a hold of you, to to hold you back any longer because you were made to be something great in this world. You, All of you are, whoever it is that's watching. And I, I pray that fear definitely isn't, you know, the main thing that's holding you back because you have so much to share. You need to let your light shine. People need to see you. People need to hear you. You, you offer so much value to this world. And I, I just can't wait to see it for all of you. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, and let me know any other ideas that you would like to see me cook create any desserts or any topics that you wanted me to talk about but yeah y'all i'm out of time so have a blessed tuesday i know i'm late but yeah we gonna keep going <laughs> see y'all in the next one bye